All right, uh, let's see. So we're back. Botula is good. Everything is good. Haven't done any off-camera grinding this time, which I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the one thing I wanted to look into is how do I check here? So, uh, what was? Oh, geez. This ah, the sound sound effects. They're bad. Uh, I'm gonna turn off staff chatter and I'm gonna crank down these sound effects. Yeah, I reformatted my computer, so everything's a little bit fun funky. Okay, so they should be quiet after this point, I hope. Just shut up, dude. Okay, I think we're good now. So here's the question. We've got this yellow thing. I'm gonna have Gao rest for a little while. And... I'm gonna keep sending Cactus Man out, maybe. I'm just curious about uh, how this game works. It's got, like, an interesting stat grinding situation that I want to figure out how, like, the exact functionality is. Alright, so we got to send this guy out and her out. Uh, I don't know about the other one. So you're just, you're just training for stats and have more than 10,000 gold. Oh, jeez. I guess because this is a fresh install, uh, it's kind of weird broken. So it's giving us literally every single, uh, achievement it possibly can. That's different. Okay, well, let's crank up the, uh, let's crank up the speed. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting my, my stuff set back up. Yeah, I was playing, wasn't I, I was playing this yesterday right before my reformat. And I totally, totally forgot what the, uh, the actual, like, setup functionality, I don't know, whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay, so yeah, this guy needs to kill a lich, and she needs to learn black magic. She's getting a decent amount of stats, he's getting his ass kicked, but that doesn't surprise me too much. Uh, he doesn't have the stats. And do I have her... Let's just have her rest as well. I'm just... I don't know how long it takes... Before they're, uh... Before they stop gaining so many... Or start gaining stats. Because Pite's gaining, like, a ton, so I wonder if it has something to do with resting... Uh, properly. That's... I don't know. I... I'm gonna float that as the potential idea. So I guess let's work on making money here. For the time being, magic attack. Oh, interesting. Well, that's kind of handy. Um... Strength increase. I mean, I could actually... These things are pretty easy to make, too. They sell for a lot... I'm a little bit leery of it, though, just because some of them are kind of rare resources. What do we have that's, like, in the red copper... Era that we could make. Can't make white gold yet. There's got to be some other things that I can make mass produce easier than this. Not that. Uh, nope, definitely not that. Well, I mean, if I can't mass produce any of these, I guess it's not the end of the world. Yeah, a lot of things require tur uh, turtle spines. Oh, hey! I can make, I can make uh, 100 tons. Alright, let's just start, uh, Getting crazy achievos. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's still beating the, uh... Glitch yet. See, have I ever played any of the Warhammer games? Not really. Uh, unfortunately, the Warhammer pedigree has not exactly been... Um... Okay, we're just turning off the sound, sound effects. Those achievement noises are not exactly great. Um... Yeah, the Warhammer pe pedigree has never been particularly good as far as, uh, video games go. I feel like the... The, uh, owners of the Warhammer IP, just kind of throw it to whomever, and they don't exactly make particularly good, uh, They don't make particularly good games, they just kind of make... whatever they can, hoping to make money. Which kind of sucks, because... Like, I'd like to get into Warhammer, I've just never run into any that I, I enjoy. Uh, let's see. Like, I'm trying to think of a good example. Like, I wanted to like, uh... Warhammer Deathwing, but unfortunately, Deathwing, it just was fiddly, and it wasn't fun after a while. Like, it, it had all the hallmarks of a good game, except for the actual, like, gameplay and pro progression weren't pretty fun. Uh, let's see, what about the Dawn of War games? They just... I mean, the main issue with, like, Dawn of War, for example, the reason why I never got into those, is they came well before I started this YouTube channel. And I don't know if it's immediately apparent, but I mostly play games that are new. Uh, 
generally is a, a business strategy here. I like to play older games sometimes, but uh, it's not exactly... Uh, it's not exactly a, a bright idea. And so... Um, even if I like wanted to go back to older games, I pretty much couldn't. Maybe, like, if I had the opportunity to play it in multiplayer, but at the same time I've got like half a billion other games that I'd like to play in multiplayer as well. Seriously waiting for this lich to show up and this guy's... I don't know if he's gonna even be able to make it. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see... I do not like people. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired of... Uh, looking over at YouTube chat and just seeing like, subscribe to my channel, and it's just like, uh, this is the worst. I don't know, it, it bugs, it bugs me whenever I see anybody do that. It's not even a good strategy either, so I, I guess I should back up and explain this. So, um, now that YouTube streaming is actually a thing and has like a decent amount of people, uh, you know, smaller channels have gotten it into their head to try and advertise on larger ones. I guess it's always kind of been the case for, uh, interesting that she's getting, uh, oh right, I gave him the skill, so he, he does gave, oh, there's the Lich, he's gonna get his ass kicked. Holy crap, yeah, he got murdered in one shot. Well, his int's going up, and his vitality, okay, so, he'll get there. I just gotta keep sending him out. Um, but so, New, small, young channels, whatever you want to call it. Uh, they will uh, they will see like larger channels and see them as a resource, which is particularly scummy. Uh, you know, so somebody can see me and my hundred thousand subscribers and be like, "Whoa!" You know, if if I can like get even just like one percent of uh, of their audience to like look at my channel, that's like a thousand subscribers right there. If I can get that, I'm gonna be huge! And it's like this kind of weird mentality of like, if you can take advantage of this other channel, you're gonna be in a really good spot. Oh, that reminds me, I was gonna start sending this guy out. I totally forgot about it. Okay, uh, where do we send him? I don't know, anything on hard. I guess I'll just send him out there. Probably should have checked what element his weapon was. Um. But, so, like, I can understand the mentality of, like, somebody wanting to go out of their way to, to, like, try and, you know, appeal to somebody else's obvious, uh, audience. It just doesn't work. Like, straight up, it, it's actually not a good strategy. Because not only do you end up pissing off the YouTuber, but you, en you end up, um... You piss off the YouTuber and you end up, uh... Well, I mean, getting banned on them. But you also, you're just wasting your time. That's the... That's the real consequence of all of it. Uh, you can spend all of that time, instead of trying to advertise on somebody else's content and, like, failing miserably at, like, actually getting people's attention, you could actually be making, like, good videos and growing that way, but I guess nobody knows how to grow anymore because they don't bother to do research. They're just trying to get, take the easy way out. Get-rich-quick schemes, I guess would be the easiest way to, to put it. Like, it doesn't even bug me that much, because most people probably don't look. It's just one of those where it's like, I don't want to... Oh, wow. His stats are both great and garbage. I guess his stats will go up. It doesn't look like she's getting, um... Stats particularly quick, so maybe I have to switch things around. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay. Or we won't. I mean, it might just have to do with how low your stats are compared to the content you're doing or the gear that you've got. And that's how training works in this game. But yeah, I... I don't know. Try, trying to get subscribers on YouTube is... not easy. And I can sympathize, but I can also point out, like... Don't be stupid. <laughs> and everybody just... They don't care. They just do whatever. Okay, so what do we... We need some crazy high-quality stuff if we want to get that. Alright. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just gonna keep sending this guy out. He's got plenty of stats that I can get... along the way. Okay. Hey, why does this guy get so many more stats than everybody else? It, it must be like some kind of limiting factor based on the average of your stats. I don't know. Oh man, uh, completely unrelated. Um, 
Oh yeah, he actually... I probably shouldn't have him on hard mode. He's getting his ass kicked. Yeah, uh, so let's bring Shadow back for a second. Let's set him on, uh, forest normal mode. Maybe he'll have a easier chance there. Um... Yeah, he's doing more damage. Once he has some more, like, skills and stuff, this should work better. Okay. Yeah, I was, uh, I was looking at other games releasing on Steam, uh... This week, today, something like that. And I actually realized there's a uh, free-to-play, like, pseudo-MMO. It's not even an MMO, but a, uh, a free-to-play game uh, coming out in, like, a day or two. And, yep, there, there's the stat growth we were looking for. And I was looking at it, and I'm like, these models look really familiar. Why do they look so familiar? Answer is, they're actually the same models as the ones from this game. Uh, I wasn't exactly paying attention at first, but... Uh, all of these models, all of these, uh, all of the character art for this game is just lifted off of, uh, RPG Maker or something like that. Which amuses me to no end, honestly. I mean, honestly, it's not a big deal, uh, that they're, they're just lifted models, but I guess it's kind of, not sad. I don't even know how to, how to, like, what to call it. It's just amusing to run across, like, you know... Uh... Repeated... Repeated art assets. I guess, since I'm an artist myself, it's like... You know, why would anybody do that? I guess that's the, uh... That's the idea. Okay. So I think I've got everything. I'm not gonna bother with, uh, frog poison. I think... Do we have... Nah, we don't... Eh, do we want spy eyes? No, not really. That hurt my defense pretty bad anyway. Okay, so let's send her out against fire. If she's got an ice weapon. Okay, stats are going good. Yeah, if I could get her some decks, that might help too. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Have I ever watched Red vs. Blue? I Yeah, I watched Red vs. Blue the week it came out. Uh, like, episode one. Because one of my friends was, like, super into Halo content. I thought it was funny, and then I never went back to it. Probably should have. Okay, there's there's some stat growth, so maybe maybe it just takes a little bit of switching up. Uh, gear sets occasionally. I don't know. I'll figure that bit out later. Let's see if I can make any good better. Okay, so th we've got this one. Let's see, maybe I do make the, uh... Let's try making a Berserker Axe. Or, like, let's make several. They're not too expensive. Because they do a ton of damage, comparatively. Okay. It feels kind of cheap that they've... Uh... They use the art assets. I guess. I don't know. It's one of those where the games industry is such a uh, such a competitive thing, and it always amuses me to see games that kind of slip by using cheap tricks instead. Uh, not that it's like really a big deal. It's just one of those where, you, like, you see all these AAA games. Like, uh, I mean, honestly, let's go. Let's go recent Mass Effect Andromeda. Oh, let's turn off auto for the 100 ton. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda came out, uh, or comes out next coming week, and, you know, everybody's been, like, super hard on it and stuff like that. And, you know, like, bad animations, you know, clunky game design, weird dialogue, so on and so forth. And I'm playing this game for, I guess, the tenth of the price, which kind of justifies some of it, that, like, literally just has the same art assets as another completely separate game. And it, uh, it amuses me. Uh, that, like, technically proportional to the amount of money put in, this game might actually be a better success, at least from a critical standpoint. Which is hilarious. And sad-ish. I don't know. It's hard to judge. Anyway, I got, a uh, I got some things I can turn in. Okay. I can spell evil around here. Please let me purify this weapon shop. So we can new staff and a new recipe. Well, I'll take it. Yes, right here. This place is filled with the scent of evilness. Uh, I have to purify this shop. Dear God, please grant me your power. Yo, eradicate the evil of this place. Wait a minute. You want to help? All right, give me your hand. It's just a silly mistake. They're all working hard. Must be the scent of sweat. Let me see. No, the evil smell comes from you. Are you? It is just my bad breath. Smell it again. Ah. Uh, <laughs> this is the breath of Arax. I'm gonna pass out. Passed out. I see the god waving to me. 
All right, now we've kidnapped a cleric. So we get Templar, Templar shield, crusade helmet, and crusade armor. <laughs> uh, somebody was giving me shit for uh, making fun of the uh, the bad writing, but honestly, I enjoy it. 20% more damage. Uh, she's not bad, actually, if I want to have another caster character. Decent stats across the board. Eh, I'll consider it. I'll keep her over here for the time being. I'm still getting staff along the way here. Yeah, would I recommend this game? I would. Actually, I, I think this game's pretty dang good. Despite the fact that it's kind of awful. I don't know, it's hard to say. I, I like the bad writing and I like like how everything is set up. It's not it's not amazing in any way, shape, or form. It's just amusing to play. Uh oh, he wants he wants Earth Jutsu. Ah. Uh. I should probably actually pull him back and have him farm for the thing so he can get Earth Jutsu. What even is required for that? This one? No. Earth Jutsu. Okay, details. So he's working on... Oh, the Master Sword. It's, let's get him his quest done. This should be quick. Okay. And let's just send him out on... Easy. He should learn that quick. Maybe I should get him eyes for monster. But yeah, despite the fact that it's uh, kind of a bad game, it's actually really fun. It's weird. It, it's really hard to like determine game quality, but I it's unique. If it if there were other games in this genre that actually does uh, did what this game does, I think I'd be more interested in it, or I would be uh, I'd be harder on this game. But instead, it's uh, it's goofy and easy to get into. So I find I find it hard difficult to hate, I guess. That's the easiest easiest way to put it into words. Okay. Uh so what other quests do we have? We have this one, new decoration, new map. The problem is I don't need new maps. Shining leather, Phoenix Blood, Air Feathers. So let's see, hot cocoa, but we still don't have any of that. He wants five million gold, which is nonsense. Oh. Uh, there's a Dwarf Master that wants a Meteoric Ingot. Okay, that's possible. Okay, can I- can I make one of those? No, we need- we need more Meteoric Ore. Okay, so when she's done, maybe I'll send her back out again. And we'll see what happens. Let's see. So seeing as I mentioned Mass Effect and Drummond, and now I'm being asked if I liked it or not. I like it a lot, actually. Sort of. I don't know. I give it a 7 out of 10. It's not like an amazing game. Uh, by any... By any measure. It's just... It's okay. It's worth playing, probably. Is probably the easiest way that I can put it. I don't know. It's... It's always hard for me to, like, judge anything. But I... Oh. Oh, this is Promised Land. Oh, I see. We were on hard. Well... Might as well send her out on hard there and hope for the best. I don't know. Everybody likes to hate the game, but I'm personally having a lot of fun with it. Even if I realize it is definitively a flawed product. Yeah, why is her stat growth so much lower than everybody else? I have no idea. Eh, it doesn't matter too much. I wonder if I get spider web and she kills herself. Eh, surprising no one. Oh! Oh wait, no, 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 no. We gotta get a little bit further if I wanna get, like, Meteoric Ore and stuff like that. You know, I wonder if there's, like, a, a guide to this game. Well, there's one. Uh, I just wanna see if there's, like, a guide to how to get your guys to train faster. Uh, let's see. I don't care about achievement. Tips, shortcuts, whatever. So we know about speed. Easy currency, don't care about that. Don't care about achievements. Is there a way to figure out how to train faster? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Yeah, it's just a matter of figuring out if there's a way to, uh... Specifically cheese it so you can get more stats. Because this guy gets way more stats than she does. I guess, to be fair, her strength and her vitality are really high in comparison. Maybe I could do other things. Let's see, if you equip staff that make items, 
do their stats go up when they build? Only one stat. So, for example, uh, this guy only gets dex, this guy only gets strength, these guys only get vitality and int. So it's kind of, uh, it works. It It's like, it limits itself in interesting ways. You know what, what if we give her a full dex set? Oh, can we, we can make a black belt. Okay, let's try making a black belt. Uh, let's see, waiter's hat. We need more magic feathers, which I think I burnt through like a dingus. Maybe I should figure out where to get those. All right, let's bring her back for a second. Where do I get magic feathers from? Oh, I can get meteoric ore from there. Uh, maybe in a place with birds. That one probably would have it. Okay, let's let's send her to the Howling height, Heights. Maybe that's that's where I can get magic feathers rather quick. Okay, uh, what about you? Details. So she's got skill preference, has black magic going. It's going okay. Well, there's really not much I can do to get her to do this faster, is there? Huh. I should probably actually send her to something a little bit higher difficulty. Okay, so he's just using Earth Jutsu to... Yeah. I'm not sure if that's a good setup. Well... As soon as he's done with that. I mean, he's getting a little bit of stats. Okay, did we get... Ah, we did get magic feathers. Okay, cool. Okay, I guess I'll let her mine this. If it's just a bee, she's probably fine. Because she can just one-shot those. Okay, cool. So we want some more feathers. Yeah, I was thinking maybe if I get her, like, a full dex outfit. Maybe we can, uh... Get, like, a boost or something. Okay, so concentrate, weakness hit. We still want uh, life sucking. Oh, I need to go after fire lizard claws. Ideally, I'd like to get whatever thing lets you dual wield, but I still haven't found that. Or I found it and I've just totally forgotten about it, which is actually equally concerning. Ah, uh, cyberpath, that's just int related and mostly useless. Okay. Let's see, still haven't found enough ingots for meteoric bars. Yeah, my problem is my team is too weak to do what I want to do. Because, like, I want to be able to actually, like, go further in the game. Obviously, I want to progress, but our stats are going up significantly slower than earlier. Maybe, maybe I should actually... Let's pull him back a little bit. Let's, let's put him on harder fights. What are your stats? They're they're like middling. That's the problem. I guess I could just send him out and hope he can do some damage. Oh, the problem is he's not gonna do anything. His weapon does so little damage, I bet he's just gonna run across this guy. Yeah, dude does 240 damage. Well. Yeah. Okay. Gotta, gotta rethink this. If we just set him on normal. Maybe I can get a fire claws from this. Or maybe just here? I don't know. Because I'd like to use Shadow, but he trains too slow. Because his stats are all weird. He's got like stupid amounts of HP, but he does not have much for damage. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So we've got a bunch of these Grandmaster Axes. Maybe part of the problem is I just need to... actually produce some decent weapons to use. Okay, do we have any of these sacrifice swords? Okay, so the back two are pretty good. Let's see, ghost lancers. Ghost lancers can go, I'm not gonna be using them. Apprentice rings are no good. I don't know about sharing or skill share. Nah, these are, these are moot. I'm just gonna get rid of them. I can always make more if I need to. Uh, let's see. Sell all the Genji armor, I'm not using it. Tire packages, don't need. Heavy armor, I think I'm gonna hold on to. Wind Elf Sword and Fire Elf Sword, we can get rid of. Okay, I made a Brilliant Fang. Oh, for permanent Berserk, I forgot about that part. Yeah, permanent Berserk is worth doing. It's a huge damage up. Oh, maybe I should teach it to her. I think, like, Gao maybe knows it. It makes you into, like, an extreme glass cannon, but still. 
Did I ever find the thing that teaches God Godness Aegis? No, I don't think I have. Uh, but I'm only like I'm still like partway through the game. I'm working on this. Ah, let's see. So what do we do? Do I just drop off my million gold? I guess we might as well. Do you have my money ready? Wait, something's been bothering me. Why are both vampires? We are both vampires. Why does Belmont never come after you? Uh, that's because I play it low key. I was hiding in my castle. It does not get more low key than that. Well, details don't matter. Give me money now. Bye. Okay, so we now have new adventures of something. Ha. Huh. Thanks, game, for your wacky design. Eh, she's getting more decks now. It might actually not be so bad. It looks like he's able to do these. Oh, right, that's because he's on easy mode again. Well, we're getting stupid amounts of these. Okay. So what else can we do? We've got some rings here. We made that because per permanent. I guess it is permanent. Oh, Godness Aegis. Yeah, here it is, Mythical Jewel. I do have it. It's not very good, though. I mean, it's okay. But yeah, apparently I do actually have the thing for it. I don't know where I picked up that that recipe either. It must have been a quest. Oh, was it from the uh the like weird creepy dude? It might have been from the weird creepy dude. The guy that you have to like throw 5 million gold at. Uh I don't exactly remember. Okay. Well, while we're here, let's see. Can I make do I want to make a bunch of sacrifice swords? Turtle spines. I mean, they're pretty cheap to make beyond that. Yeah, sure. Let's just make a ton. I know we had, like, something else that requires it. Ah, she's done. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's turn in this quest. She just gets a skill slot, which sucks. And Black Magic 3, which is totally, totally meaningless. I'm gonna just move her down here. Okay, uh, Gao. Currently, I've had Gao resting. Let's just have him work. Now, his int is low, his dex is okay, eh, his stats are kind of across the board decent, and he has got a Ghost Lancer on. Let's see, can I replace that with, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We wanted to upgrade one of these, uh, Berserker axes. Let's see if we can make it do a ton of damage. Huh. Does less damage than I thought it was going to do. I'll just make it do earth damage for the time being. Uh, do we want to do... One light. And let's make a dark gem. Make a bunch of dark stones. Holy crap, that goes fast. I guess I did actually upgrade my uh, crafting speed here. Okay. What else do we have? We also have this one. I forgot that does... That does a lot of damage for a one-hander, now that I'm looking at it. Might be worth looking into. Okay, uh, so now that, now that we've got that, I guess let's, uh... Not stop sending these guys out. I wonder if he's... No, he probably hasn't completed his quest yet. Okay, so Ghost Lancer. Let's replace it with... All of that earth damage is... Barely anything, that sucks. Okay, that's a bit better. Do we want magic attack? Huh. I wonder why his, ench his enchantments are so garbage. Okay, well, let's give him the light magic sword. That's a two-hander, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so he has spy eyes. Let's get rid of spy eyes, it's not that useful. Let's give him magic attack. So let's switch off these. Let's actually, let's give him some stats that don't, aren't just pure garbage. So, two-handed advance, sharpening master. Uh... Auto heal's not that useful. Slap steel bait, plated, not that useful. Let's go triple hit. Probably, and I don't think I have anything new. Unless we want to work on his decks. Let's work on his decks a bit. Oh, actually, he doesn't have permanent berserk. Let's uh, let's get permanent berserk. Okay, so complete glass cannon. But if we're lucky, he can just smash his way through things. Okay, so we can do 
dungeon on hard. Good luck, dude. You're going to die, maybe. Or this is actually going to be how we do everything right the this time around. Let's see how much damage he does. That's concerning. Yeah, if we can kill our enemies, maybe... Wait, I just realized. Does he have the dark sword on? No, he d it does light damage. 